best there ever been, Fats. The best you ever seen. Stick with this kid, Fats. He's a real loser. <laughs> hey! You might laugh now, but you just wait till my friend Harvey gets here. Well, then send for Harvey! Hey, Where's hey, Harvey? Hey, Harvey? Get him down hey, here! Harvey. Send for Harvey! Hey, Harvey. I want hey, Harvey! Harvey. Come on. Oh, beautiful. beautiful. Hey, well, I sank it Just one. Just sank one. Hey, I'm Iwa Mataya. And I'm Minnesota Slim, and we're here at Monarch Amusements. And we're waiting for the owner, Tom Milchap, who's going to show us around and show us some of the fabulous things that they have here. Three guesses what we're going to try and finish today. Done. Pool table. You got it. But that's not all they sell here. They also sell reconditioned Coke machines and jukeboxes. They got a reconditioned Coke machine over there that was just around, the same one that was around the corner from my grandmother's house in Reading, Pennsylvania. I remember going around at 10 cents for a bottle of Coke. Beans. Amazing. Beans, beans. Beans grocery store. It makes me reminisce about what I should have been doing, like going to algebra class, but I was... You were playing instead. pool. I was well, you know, this instead. a lot of the billiard tables they have here, some of them are oak, some of them are mahogany. Uh, a I lot saw are composite one, like this. One that was maple. So there's a lot of great things, and I hope he gets here soon because, well, if he doesn't get here, we just get to play all for the whole show. <laughs> that's okay. That's when I used to do it. Phil and Mamie Longo's billiards. Did you ever go to Moscone's on Argon Avenue? Yes, but I like Longo's the best because they had 1898 tables with three-inch slate. Well, the lady from that was behind the cage there, Mamie. she was there from 1898. That's, that was Mamie. <laughs> Do you think he's here yet? He's no longer with uh, Let's go and Why find him. Why don't we go him, check? Because then we can walk out of frame and he can Just zoom like... in. It'll be like a TV show. There you go. What's up with him? Hey, Nijinsky, there's no sound coming out of that. It's all in here, man. This is Tom Milchap. He's the owner proprietor of uh, this wonderful establishment. And we're going to look at some of the wares that he has here. Not only pool tables, but tell us about this. That's a CD jukebox, it's a repro of a Wurlitzer original. So it's not original, it's a repro, and it's right. C, play CDs. Uh, yeah. you, can you put 45s in there? No. Well, you can put them in there, they just won't play. They'll lay there like a lox. <laughs> Let's go over here and look at this. This is, this this is a fabulous pool we table. We call this high-end pool table. Phew. There no. were only three of these made. The top rails, the aprons, and the body are all burled Carpathian so Elm. So in here, this, this uh, apron here is Carpathian Elm. Yes. The bottom, and the, the lines you said are hand-carved? Hand-carved mahogany. Oh, oh. Oh, wait. <laughs> Carpathian Elm also goes in a popular motor car. Yeah, the Rolls Royce. So this is the Rolls Royce of billiard tables. And I'd like to buy this right away. How much? Fifty-six thousand. Let's <laughs> move right on over here. Oh, look at this. This is the one I talked about. Look. <laughs> There's that wonderful sound I remember. Now this looks brand new, but it isn't. That's an original Cavalier seventy-two Coke machine. Reconditioned. Reconditioned. Painted. Shooter. Who paints these things? Auto body shop. New compressor. It's completely redone. Ten cents deposit, nickel, dime, or quarter. Receive change below. So who buys these? Homeowners. Re yeah. And if it's in your house, you can charge whatever you want. Or it could be free. It could be free. See in that? my house, a dollar. Blackmail. Maybe, maybe we could do a deal with Coke. Black. Sure, they don't have enough advertising. <laughs> you never know. Look at this. Another free table. <laughs> This is also Carpathian Elm. The Renaissance. On the top rails, it's Carpathian Elm, and this. then the body's all mahogany. Okay. It's a nine-foot table. And what this. about this intricately carved one up here? That's an alder table with serpentine top rails. And, of course, these aren't like the pool tables you sh use in the, in the bar in that they don't have an automatic return. Right, the ball just drops into the pocket. Yeah, all leather drop pockets. Look at this. Beautiful. Nice. Well, you know, uh, Napoleon used to shoot pool, and then he looked down here and said, you know what? Be good on the shoulder. That's where we got the epaulet. Enough merriment. Our contract tells us we have to work on something. Yeah. So you got something for us? I got a pool table that it needs quite a bit of work on it. Okay. Really? What, what kind of wood? wood? Yeah. It's all ash. Ash. Oh, we could do something. We haven't worked on any ash. Yeah, well, not since them baseball bats. And we got to finish something on the rest of this show. We got to be doing something. We can't just stay here, although I'd like to. Show it to us off okay. camera, and when next you see us, we'll be in our faux shop. Thanks, Tom. Thank table. you. All right. See you. Let's Thank walk you. out of frame now, and they'll get the focus on something. 
Let's see how this fits together. Wait a minute, that can't be right. Oh, oh yes, it is. Look. Wait a minute. Yeah, now you stand. Look, it's a serving table. And see? look, it's a cup holder. <laughs> well, this is the pool table, and it's all exploded. Not Most of the pieces are here. Some pieces are off camera because they couldn't fit on the table. I didn't want to say it to that guy because he was so nice to us, but this is one of the ugliest colored finishes I've ever seen. Well, the table, first of all, it's ash. Right. And ash is a very blonde wood, almost white. And when you put like a special walnut or some kind of walnut comes stain, up green. It, especially if you've got fluorescent lights in your rumpus room. It comes rumpus. The rumpus I room. Love, I love a good rumpus. It's going to be green. You so. should have primed it first. <laughs> and painted it black. <laughs> yeah. Now we're going to shoot some toners over this and change it, drastically change or alter the, the color of this And uh, we'll finish. put on some felt on the corners and I'll even touch up the leather. You remember uh, what Mel Gibson wore in Braveheart? Look, put this here. No, it don't go there. It's an epaulet. I'm not going to show anybody where yeah, this goes. Yeah, yeah. For the anyway, man who has everything. This is one of the legs. <sighs> yes, Great, it huh? is. It's one you of the. You remember legs. Robert Newton? <laughs> so first, we're going to clean and sand it. Go ahead, do the physical comedy. There you go. Give him a parrot, somebody. First, aye, we're going to. Aye, 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 aye. Okay. Jackie the Pirate. First, we're going to clean and sand. And when you sand, well, we clean, we kind of dusted everything off, and we have some 400 grit uh, wet and dry paper, and we're just going to use it dry, and we're going to sand all the flats. What about clean? Well, we'll clean after we sand. Okay. And, of course, this is the part that's going to be felted. Felted? Felted. And since uh, my, name is, name, my name is Feltman, I'm going to first... Before I felt, we're going to be doing a finish here, so I'm going to tape off this part. Now, and any, you can do this with any kind of finish. If it's a lacquer finish on your old piece of furniture, and, oh, and you want to uh, re-coat it, all you got to do is clean it down and sand it, and then shoot another lacquer over it. Oh, shoot as much lacquer as you possibly can. But you want to sand folks. all the flats, but don't go crazy and try and sanding all these beads in here. That's crazy. Once you... Have everything sanded. Mm -hmm. Can I have the paper towels over there, honey? I'm busy. Thank you. You take some paper towels after you sand everything. And unlike other furniture where I, I have always said, don't sand your carvings. You go lightly painful. over these carvings. Go lightly over those carvings. Go, go and do not time. go gentle into that good carving. Go lightly over those carvings. And then you would take some naphtha and you just wipe everything down. Yeah. Well, we're cleaning this off. We're naphthaizing after we sanded. And of course. I'd like to thank the Academy. Yeah. Uh -huh. And after. <laughs> you know what? These, these legs aren't that attractive either. They, they kind of like my aunt's legs. Kind of look like Ernest Borgnine's legs. So <laughs> after this, of course, you must always. Tack rag. Tack rag. Tack, tack rag. rag. And now it's all clean and nice and perfect. But we have to spray. But before we spray, of course, we have to mask off. Now, here are the rails. And see this? We don't want to spray this. That's going to just get cleared. Because this is a pretty color. This is the ugly color. Right, so see, we, this top is different wood, a different everything. So we put a piece of tape underneath. Uh, yes. And put, then we'll put this piece of paper. Brown right paper. And this will shield all the nice tops. There you go. And then you'll have a kind of a flap situation like this. A flat That'll situation? Flap. Flap. That'll look. A flap. Yeah, see that? Now it's hidden. Protected. And now we, we got to just get to the ugly part. Now we got to mix. That. And when we mix, we used some regular lacquer. See, it's a clear lacquer. Clear lacquer. And then, hey, my filter came off. Clear lacquer. We used some burnt sienna Japan color. We used some uh, shading stain. It's red a red mahogany. mahogany. And in here, you can see, I think, the color. It's like a golden oak stain, which is the same color as this. And all three of those mixed together gives you this color, which looks kind of thick. You will strain it like that. And it's got to be an improvement. See that? You strain it like that, and that's what we put into the gun here. I'll show you. See that? That's the, that's the mixture. Same mixture. Lock it up. Did you add anything to that? Yes, I did. I put in of some of the fisheye destroyer. This is very important, especially... Uh, when you're doing a piece of furniture like this that could be contaminated with, with old silico waxes. Silicone infection, those easy spray products you, that we don't advocate because they don't use us as endorsements. You put about three, three drops into a quart and then you put on your mask. You gotta put on the, the proper mask. way to do a mask. Not loose, nice and tight. Uh, uh, oh, there we go. Uh, uh. Oh, we gotta get the hose connector. Here it is. And now we're gonna spray a little test right on the underside of the leg. This is the top of the leg. Right on the side. 
just to see how it's working. Come on. Looks a lot nicer already, I think. Yep. It now, gave it a deeper brown, took away that green. Now we'll spray this. It's all been sanded. And I'll go the full length. There you go. Dry it a little bit. And now we want to drop it flat and do the whole, the whole mother. Yes, you can spray in your house, in your basement, if you have good ventilation and good respirators. And you have a $25,000 exhaust system. Star, star, that's what you, you know what that was? When you school, Catholic school, star, star. Tone two, two tone, second tone. We took the same uh, satin lacquer and then we applied some of that golden oak uh, ultra penetrating stain there. Right, this is not a mixture of various colors like we just did. This is a second layer of color. Just as in nature, we are layering our colors on top of one another. When you want to put a lot of different colors into wood, you don't mix them all together. You get mud, but you put a layer. The first layer had that mixture. Now the second layer is pure golden oak. There we go. If you look deep into wood, you'll see different layers of color. That's what we're doing here. This is going to intensify. What? Closed captioning for no one. And here we go. Wait. It's always on the, my hose is always on the floor. Well, that was the party the last night, certainly. Okay, now we're ready. I'm going to New Jersey now. Now let's spray, there's a sample I did before, the first coat. And we lay that right over the top. Oh, it looks nice. Always wear the proper headgear. Let's get in here now. That was the shrimp salad. And now we want to stain, or we want to spray the, uh, spray these elements here. Go around the bottom. And of course this here. Doesn't this look like a lot of fun? Now you flip this around like here. All right. We change the adjustment on this, which allows us to spray. And I'm going in an arc like this, you see? Because this has got a curve to it. If you went flat, straight up and down, you would get a buildup right in the center here. So we go like this. Shine, 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 bah! Hey, look, I'm doing soft stuff. Who needs that brain damage when you can just go like this? These are the corners where the balls go in, and they're covered with leather. It may look like wood because it's grain, but it is actually very thick leather stretched around and tacked underneath. But a lot of these are soiled, and other ones are nicked. So I'm going to fix that up right now. These are nicks in the leather. Again, it may look like wood, but it's really just leather. And all I'm going to do is go over that with my marker, and that will blend in. And, of course, the next thing we have to do is clean. And I've sprayed these four with this. It's mink oil from a minky. And all you have to do is spray this on the leather, let that sit for two or three minutes, and then I'll wipe this one off. And you'll see how nicely it comes up. Of course, if you... Uh, have some stubborn stains, you might want to go over it with a soft bristle brush. Reminds me of when I was a kid and used to have my shoes shined every week by the butler. <laughs> Uh-oh. Here's, here's a mark. So we'll let that go, and then we'll just wipe that off. And it's going to be so beautiful. But first, let's inhale more lacquer. Look at that there. That's, uh, this is the semi-gloss lacquer. This is straight lacquer, and it looks cloudy like that. That's the flattening agents in there. They put flattening agents in there so it dries to a semi-gloss. The gloss is just a clear. 
Flattening agents? Flattening agents. Is that what Kate Moss uses? <laughs> hey, are you done spraying? That's what Disney made uh, Ned Funicello use on the... Uh... I know. Well, she was the only one with a one-piece on all those beach movies because Mr. Disney would not allow the two. Are you done spraying yet? No, I'm not. Well, then I'm just passing through. But this is the final coat. All the pieces have been sanded, and now we're ready to spray. <laughs> now we're ready to spray. Oh, goodbye. And the first thing I'm going to spray is the top piece here, which up until now has been masked. So we'll put our coat over there. Give it a nice shine. Okay? And I'm going to leave that sit, just like that. And I'll go back to this. Okay? And I want these to level off a little bit before I flip them down. And we'll go right to this. Nice and shiny clear coat, which will dry to a nice matte finish. I'll turn this around here. Put it on the side. And once again, we flip this around. Oh. Hey, that looks pretty. I want to go back here, though, because, what, this, let's stay away from there. Let's go here. Let's finish this up. Oh, that looks, doesn't it look much better now? It looks like a trophy, almost. Vadim, Nathaniel Crane, Stephen Crane, Red Badge of <laughs> Courage. We went into the store and said, can we get felt here? <laughs> they said, just step in the back. Here's red felt. Why? Because green felt is so green. And we're going to be felting. Where are you going? We're going to be felting you know, the, look, the hey, rails. There's some tape in there. There's some tape. We don't need tape. Roll tape. Look, a spline. Spline. This is a spline. I Spliny. love to say the word spline. spline. And this spline, spline will help us You could say felt. that just like horse hire you. Spline. 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 Look, we're going to lay the felt in. Lay that felt in. Want me to hold this in? Yeah, just right so it touches the edge of one of the insides of the spline hole. And you want to match the miter up with this edge. With the spline. And now take the fingers away, and you hit it in with the rawhide hammer so as not to hurt anything. Wait, All wait, the way wait, over. Over here, you got to take that. Oh, out. gosh. I was doing this good before. Before the cameras rolled. Right. Not that time, Dad, when I did it good. Give it another hit right here. Oh, oh. <laughs> We've never done that one before. No. Nah. And now, look, it folds over, and it looks so nice when you turn it around, and now you have to staple it. And I'm going to turn it around this way so you can all watch me staple. And where do we start? Oh, here's a channel here with old staple holes, one in the center, and we just pull. And you have to do it in this most uncomfortable manner so everybody can see you at home. Just pull it as tight as you can, and this is how you do the bumper. Oscar Wilde or Orson Welles? He had a boys' choir. <laughs> well, that would be Oscar Wilde then. <laughs> <laughs> La, 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 la. No, higher, higher. La, 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 yeah, that's la, it. La, la. And of course, we have to do our corners. I've got too many. There he goes. We've got too you're, much you're felt. Gonna do the corners? I'm going to work the corners. My uncle used to do that. His numbers, man. <laughs> yeah, okay. Look, <laughs> all these rails are going to be put together, and there are holes here and here for the connectors, so I don't want to mask those. But all I do want to, I do want to make a nice tight fold there. So I'm going to do this nice and tight there. And put a staple there. I'll put another one there. Yeah, yeah, we have fun here. And then I'm going to make another nice tight fold. I, you know, I wear a series of elaborate trusses underneath. <laughs> so I'm just going to make a nice Fred Garvin male upholsterer right there. And I'll cut off all this excess. And there you have it, the lovely, fabulous 
felted rail. It's done. It's beautiful. Good night, Gracie. Write to us, Furniture Guys, P.O. Box 53240, Philadelphia, PA, 19105-3240. Or email us, Fern Guy Ed, Fern Guy Joe, AOL.com. So I'm putting a pool table Come again. on, I want to play. Oh, stop it. This puts together very easily. It's just got holes, and then it's got bolts that go into the under the knee. And you just One time to... it snowed, I went outside, I had a snowball fight. And it snowballed? It was a snowball. Look at this here. Do you think that particular comedy bit up no, your No, that's Mr. homage to Fields. Mr. Fields there. All you need to put this together is a socket wrench. That's how I got to be Honest John. How did you get to be <laughs> Honest John? Well... <laughs> this has got red felt. Not green felt because it's nice and it's different. And so I'm putting it together. Just bolting that in. I'm bolting it. I'm Robert bolting it in. There we go. And then use the ratchet, Miss Ratchet, Nurse Ratchet. And that will tighten it up. And we'll be able to play real soon. Oh, next time we'll have the balls on the table. <laughs> and Always we'll be, a thrill. And we'll be playing. Hey, I've got my level. Look, always take this on the airplane so you know when the airplane is turning. Yeah, if it goes to the left, you're making a left turn. Goes to the right. Look at this. You should have a bit. Hey, it's level. Yeah, it's a little off there, but then again, so are we. Here's where I take your lunch money, you move yeah, you. Yeah, just rack them up, rack them up, you jamoke. Yeah. There we go. Now we make them. <laughs> Well, here's the beautiful antique pool table. Not a thing. Not a thing. Not oh, you're lucky. Oh. <laughs> we didn't even have to strip. We worked with the existing finish. Oh, yeah, and we did some tone sprays, sanded it down. Then we did a clear coat. Mm. What are you doing down here? I'm doing a combination shot. Look, oh, what? Oh. Here's the before. Oh. And the after. And I even felted it. Yeah, you felted it. Now... Now it's your turn to make that shot, boy. How am I going to make this shot here? You just put one leg up there, you punk. I'm Joe Lorario. And I'm Ed Feldman. Be nice to your furniture. Mm. All right, make this shot. Mm. <clears throat> Coming up next on TLC, just stay nailed to that chair because Joe and Ed are back with good cheer and bad jokes on a second episode of Furniture to Go, showing you how to bring out the best in antique pieces.